Thank you for taking the time to watch our demonstration video on how to pleat your drapery using fixed space sizes and fixed pleat sizes. Traditionally, space sizes are fixed while pleat sizes vary. This calculator makes it possible to have fixed space sizes and fixed pleat sizes across all fabric widths. Before we proceed, you should be aware that this calculator can only be used when working with solid fabrics, railroaded fabrics, or fabrics that do not have to be pattern matched at the selvage edge. To get started, we'll click the Easy Pleating Calculator with Fixed Spaces and Fixed Pleats link on the Members Home page. Let's say, for example, our customer's name is Mrs. Smith, and we're working in her guest room. We'll enter our sales order number, our fabric pattern, and our fabric color. This helps us in the workroom avoid making mistakes. We're going to make a pair of panels. We will not be railroading it. And our rod width will be 87 inches. Our fabric width is 54. And our finish length is 91 and, a, and one half. Our return size is 6. And our overlap size is 3 and one half. We're going to select the exact space size that we're going to use across all fabric widths that make up a single panel. Let's say we want 3 and 7 eighths. Our pleat size, we're going to select the exact pleat size that will be consistent across all fabric widths. I'm going to select 6 inches. Our return side hems are made from double one and a half inch hems, and so are our overlaps. We'll leave them alone. Our seam allowance is one half of an inch. The ease is the amount of fabric that's extra after our pair of panels are drawn to the center for privacy. So if we made our panels such that when you pull them to the center, you had just enough fabric, the fabric might be a little bit taut. So adding a little extra ease is like saying I'm going to add a few extra inches to each of those panels, the left panel and the right panel, so that when the panels are drawn together towards the center for privacy, there's a little bit of extra material in those panels. It's, it, this way they don't pull tight at the center. Here I'll say my minimum ease is one inch um, and my additional ease is also one inch. We can learn more about these features by clicking on the text next to them and reading a little bit from the help. Our pleat markings, we're going to mark the starting and ending location of each of our pleats. If we wanted to, we could mark only the center or the left side of each pleat. So I'm, I've got my information all entered and I'm going to click now the Easy Pleat My Drapery button. Remember, we're going to get Three and seven inch eighth, three and seven eighth inch spaces across all fabric widths, and our pleats will all be six inches. They will not vary, and our seams will be hidden. That means that the beginning or ending this the seam will always be located at the beginning or ending of a space or a pleat, never in the middle, never never anywhere within it. So I'm going to pleat my drapery by clicking the pleat my drapery button. My calculations come up, my instructions overview page gives me a little bit of information from what I entered. It computed an ease of four and three quarters inches. Even though we asked for one, you don't always get exactly what you want because remember the seams have to be hidden and there's a little bit of math involved to make that happen. Our space sizes will be three and seven eighths, our pleats will be six. We have total spaces of we have a total of 12 spaces and a total of 13 pleats and a fullness of 2.9 we also get a little message saying if we change our space sizes from 3 and 7 eighths to 4 and 3 eighths we can reduce the amount of fabric that we're using i'm not going to change anything i'm going to proceed and see what my pleating instructions look like now because this calculator allows you to have a fixed number of fixed space size and a fixed pleat size across all fabric widths. The way it's doing that is by having you trim 
each width accordingly. So for example, this particular job with a rod width of 87 inches and a space size and a pleat size of 3 and 7 eighths and 6 inches with a return and an overlap of 6 and 3 and 1 half will require you to have three widths of fabric where the first width will be you must cut it to exactly 52 and 1 half inches. The second width must be cut to 51 and 1 quarter and the third must be cut to 35 and 1 quarter inches wide. And each, each width here you'll see will have a certain number of pleats and spaces. With one, we'll have five pleats and four spaces. With two, five pleats and six spaces. And with three, three pleats and two spaces. So we get some cutting instructions that basically tell us to cut our widths to these sizes, sew them together, add in your linings and interlinings, and start placing your marks for your return at six inches and your overlap at three and one half. We proceed by clicking the blue arrow. And after we've assembled our panel, we'll follow these pleating instructions. We'll place, we, we always consider the zero mark at the so edge, the inside edge of the overlap. So 0, 6, 9 and 7 eighths, 15 and 7 eighths, etc. If we place marks on along our header exactly where the pleating system, easy pleating system tells you to, you'll notice here your seam is at 45 and 1 half and your second seam is at 98 and 3 quarters. So what will happen is you'll get the pleat sizes you want, which are in purple, they're all 6. You get the space sizes that you want, they're yellow, they're all 3 and 7 eighths. This represents one panel, of course you're going to have two panels for center opening pair, and when they're pleated together, the pleats basically make up zero on the rod, and basically the sum of all these spaces make up the uh, fullness on the rod along with some of the overlap and the return of course is is not part of the the what's on the face of the track so notice that if you cut your fabric widths to exactly what it says sew them together using the one half inch seam allowance that we chose down here you will fit your panel when they're sewn together both of them and pleated onto the 87 inch rod. And you'll notice here our pleat to pleat pleated. After they're pleated from the first pleat to the last pleat you'll have 46 and a half inches. And so if you add in one half of the overlap and you consider that you have two panels you will have four and three quarter inches of extra ease. So let's say I want to have a smaller return. And let's say my rod size is only 72 inches and that I do want to have a four inch space and a five and three quarter inch pleat size. I simply replete it. I get my instructions. I look at my pleating header. I have the five and three quarters and the four inch space that we talked about. Uh, it tells me exactly how to cut my fabric widths and I have perfect in pleating instructions. I can print this. I can print pleating tags. See if I can show you these a little bit. These are pleating tags that will can be attached to each and uh, every panel that you fabricate. I can um, print this. We just talked about that. I can, uh, this is interesting, if you notice that we have continuous pleat marking instructions across these two widths, if I want to, I can reset my instructions to zero every time we encounter a seam by clicking reset to zero. And you'll notice when I get to the seam, I can in essence pull my fabric on the table and realign the seam to zero and start again. And that's very handy if I don't have a very large table. I'll put it back to continuous numbers. If you have our easy pleating ruler, which is a color by number ruler, it basically has um, alphabetic markings at every eighth of an inch, you can click the AB icon and you'll notice 
our instructions change to a alpha code. So if you have our ruler and it's, a, it's affixed to your table and it takes the place of your table, your own table ruler, you'll basically look for 0 and 5F and 9F and 15D. It makes it really simple so that you don't have to look for eighths um, on the ruler. And this is very helpful for people who are really not comfortable reading a ruler. I'll go back by clicking the 1, 2 to our regular pleat markings. And so that's basically it. And like our other calculators, of course, you can save this particular job. You can retrieve this particular job. You can make changes to this job. And you could replete the job all by making some simple changes to the input form and clicking on the Easy Pleat My Drapery button. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration. We look forward to helping you manage and grow your window treatment business.